Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to log in via SSH to your Cloudways server. There are a couple different ways we can do this. I'll show you each and every one of them. Let's go ahead and get on into the tutorial here. I'm logged into my Cloudways account here, and I have one server stood up right now. And what we wanna do is come into the server instance, and right here under master credentials, you will see the information for logging in. So you have your IP address, your username, and your password. Okay, so the, the easiest thing to do is to launch the SSH terminal within a browser window. So go ahead and click on that. It's gonna open up a new tab or a new window maybe, and this is going to allow you to log in via SSH in the web browser window. So it's asking us here for a username, so we can come back here copy the username with a click to copy. We can do control V to paste that. Hit enter. Now it wants the password. Come back here. Copy the password. Control V to paste that in. You won't see anything, but go ahead and hit enter. And now we are logged into our server. So we can do, you know, your typical Unix commands, PWD for print working directory, LS for list. You can go into your applications directory. I have two applications right now, and these are the, the usernames for each one of those applications. So if we go in here, we can see you got your public HTML and inside of there, um, and I'm using tab complete, P-U-V-L-I-C, public HTML, uh, which one, CD public, HTML, and uh, I'm not, oh, I never went into the that directory, right? So if we would do CD into the username directory and then CD into the public HTML directory, then we can see all of our WordPress files. So that is one way, it's a very easy way to SSH, but there's uh, another way. We can actually SSH using terminal if you're using a Mac or a Linux computer, or if you're using a, like Windows and you can use PuTTY. I have tutorials on both of those, which you can check out as well. Let's go ahead and try that. So we'll get out of here for now. We can leave. Um, I'm gonna open up a terminal window here on my Mac and just put this just below our master credentials. So the process of logging in with a terminal window is typing the SSH command followed by the username. So let's go ahead and copy the username. We're gonna go back and forth between these two. So copy that, open the terminal back up, paste the username at the IP address. So copy the IP address, come back to the terminal, paste that, and then hit enter. And it's gonna ask us for the password. So we'll come back here one more time, copy the password, open up the terminal window, control V to paste that in, hit enter. And now we are the same thing, logged into our remote server. We can do print working directory. It's the same exact thing. Um, we can go into our applications directory, do an LS. We see the same exact folders in here and uh, we'll go into the public html directory do an ls there so that is how you can log into cloudways via ssh in a terminal window um, again if you're using windows you can use putty to do the same thing but there's one other thing that we can do here let's go ahead and exit out of here notice how we had to type a password to get into the ssh or to get into the server via ssh um, we can do that without a password if we provide the server are public H, are public SSH keys. And that's what you see over here. So let's click on SSH public keys and add our public SSH keys to the server. So I'm gonna call this uh, my MacBook Pro. And in this text box, we wanna paste our SSH keys. So where do we get those? Well, by default, they are usually in your, we're just gonna cat it, cat it. So in the uh, .SSH directory in the, your home directory, and then it's the idrsa.pub file. Typically, it could be something else, but in most cases, this is what it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this, and then come over here and paste that in, and submit that. And this will take uh, just a couple seconds to add it. So the SSH key has been added. Now, when we go back to a terminal window, and I can just use up to go back to my previous commands here, we can type in the same exact command, SSH username at IP address, hit enter, and it's not gonna ask us for a password this time because of those SSH keys. Now we are into the server without typing a password. Same exact thing, print working directory, LS, we can go into our applications directory, the username, and the public HTML folder. There you go, those are the 
two or three different ways you can log in to your Cloudways server via SSH. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. Check out some of my other Cloudways videos here. Please like this video if you liked it and subscribe for more. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.